Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Chandani Pamani. I'm a women's imaging radiologist with Atlantic Medical Imaging. Today, I wanted to review what it looks like to look at a mammogram. I wanted to first start by discussing and showing you what breast density is. I'm going to show you a series of mammogram pictures. This is four images of different breasts to demonstrate breast density. So all breasts are composed of fatty breast tissue, which is this darker gray color, and dense fibroglandular tissue, which shows up white on the mammogram. The more of the dense fibroglandular tissue you have, you are considered dense. These last two categories of heterogeneously dense or extremely dense are the categories considered dense. This is fatty breast and this is a scattered breast. Now I wanna show you an example case where the 3D tomosynthesis mammograms can help us see a little bit better through your normal dense breast tissue. So this is the case of a woman who had a bilateral screening mammogram. I'm showing you just the right breast images here. This is the 2D mammogram and the patient was brought back from her screening mammogram for two question findings in the right breast. So this is the CC view with the patient compressed from top to bottom. This is the lateral part, the outside part of the breast. This is the inner part of the breast. This is the nipple here. This is the MLO view, which is approximately 60 degree angle view. Uh, where this is the top of the breast, this is the bottom of the breast, this is the nipple, and then this is the chest wall or pectoralis muscle. You can also see a glimpse of some lymph nodes in the axilla. So I want to show you this 3D images. So when we get to the 3D images, we start by looking at the most inferior skin, scroll through the breast, until we get to the superior breast tissue. Now I'll stop to show you the findings. So within the inferior part of the breast, centrally, slightly laterally behind the nipple, there is a mass with associated spiculated margins, these little lines coming out from the finding. As I scroll a little bit further, I see an oval circumscribed mass near the nipple, kind of behind the nipple. These two findings are not well seen on the 2D mammogram version of the MLO view, but when I go to the tomosynthesis images, I can see in the inferior breast, there is subtle area of distortion, which is those lines radiating from the more mass-like area that we see better on the CC view. And near the nipple, we see an oval obscured mass here. So this patient was brought back from her screening mammogram. She had additional diagnostic mammogram images to allow us to further compress the areas of concern. The areas did persist on her diagnostic mammogram, so the patient went on to ultrasound. On ultrasound, right behind the nipple, we see a simple cyst. A simple cyst is a fluid-filled area. It is benign, not a cancer. It is typically black in the center on ultrasound. It has pencil thin margin. Deeper in the breast at approximately eight o'clock position in the area of the more deeper mammogram finding. We see an irregular mass, hypoechoic. The margins are not as well defined. I cannot take a pencil and define the wall as I can with this simple cyst. Also deep to the mass, the tissue behind the mass is darker whereas here the tissue was brighter. This mass measures about 1.5 centimeters, which is approximately half an inch. This patient underwent biopsy of this suspicious mass in the right breast, which showed an invasive ductal carcinoma, which is the most common type of breast cancer. So this case illustrates how the 3D tomosynthesis mammogram images can help us see through the layers of the breast and to separate out a true finding from your normal breast tissue. Thank you.